The purpose of this video is to show you how I will load up and run for the first time my brand new Roundhouse Engineering Birdie. Now, before you run this engine, you have to lubricate all these moving bearings here, all these little bits. The instructions suggest that you put a good drop of oil there and let it run down. I'll show you why. Here's the slip eccentric. You want to put a good drop of oil in between there and in between these surfaces. And you can accomplish that with the locomotive upright as I just showed. And of course, for the tender, you want to do all the bearings too, all these. All right, we're gonna try this engine for the first time. Make sure the gas is closed. And then you push this down through here until liquid starts spurting out of the top of the tank. Now I can't do this with the camera in my hand, so I'm just gonna put down the phone. Well, I guess Terry's busy with his new engine. I'm afraid so, Dave, and I don't blame him. Neither do I, Keith. I have experience with a couple of awesome engines made in Doncaster, and they're great. They must be. I can't keep Stephen away from them. Better than him being down the pub, I suppose. What's wrong with the pub? At least it's warm. I never get warm. I just stay outside. Okay, now I'm going to fill the lubricator with lubricating oil. For this first fill, I'm just going to fill using the syringe that came with the locomotive. Now, normally in the instructions, they say fill it right till overflowing, then take out 30 milliliters. However, I have a sight glass, so I'll fill it to the top of the sight glass. I see there is a new engine. Yes, it's the very latest. It looks rather old-fashioned to me. What do you mean? Harnessing steam. It is so primitive. On my planet, we use fusion and crystals. Have you figured out a way to get back to your planet yet? Not yet, but being here is at least entertaining. Now it's starting to hail. Just when I'm about to run the engine. <laughs> sunny all morning, of course. Yeah, sunny all morning. Well, it's live steam. I'm not going to be deterred by the weather. Just making sure again that the radio works. Now there's a draw bar down there with three holes. This is 10 foot diameter track, so it's on the closest coupling to the locomotive. But I have the option of moving the tender out for more narrow curves. This is literally the first time I've lit this engine. Well, that was easy. We don't have a pressure gauge to watch the progress, but it's kind of like watching the kettle waiting for it to boil anyway. So I, I just, you know, I'll hang out until that starts to pop. We should not expect this engine to run as well as it's going to. All new steam engines, live steam engines have to bed in. Bedding in is where all the parts sort of seal and sit together and rub together until they're nice and smooth. It's called bedding in. Uh, some people would call that breaking in. So after several hours of running, it will start to smooth out a little bit. Oh, you're here. Well, where else would I be? I don't know. Can you move? Of course I can. Ooh. There he goes, talking to himself again. Who? Stephen, of course. He says the gnome speaks to him. He hasn't been picking mushrooms, has he? I did that by mistake once. I could see the sound of the train. Weird. Yes, I remember. He hasn't picked any mushrooms that I know of. Speaking of vegetables, I brought some fresh turnips for everyone. Why don't we have a cook-up together? I'll bring the old grey. Sounds good. I wish I could have turnips. Or even tea, for that matter. We're not all the way up to pressure yet, but there'll be a little bit. So there you go, just clear out the cylinders a little. Put it in reverse, see what happens there. Yeah, it's going to prime. So far, so good. It's fairly good to start to warm the cylinders and get all the gunk out before the engine's up to full pressure. All right, this is hard to do with my hand and holding the camera because I can't really concentrate on two things at once. But this is great fun. Oh, there's the dog. And there's the mess the dog makes with her paws. And she scratches at the door to get in. That didn't take long at all. I would say five minutes, maybe. Turn the, I've turned the gas down, maybe turn it down a little bit more. No need to blow off the steam and waste the fuel, of course, but I'll have to get used to where that balance is as I operate this engine. I'm just going to go around now to pick up the train. Now, Lord Michael, thanks so much for the invitation to ride behind the new engine. Yes, indeed, Henry, indeed. 
Yes, Lord Michael, it's very much appreciated. Well, I hope you and Edna and Sire have a splendid ride. Now, this train is made up of Swift 16 wagons that I featured in the previous videos with Kobe products as well and some other details like the Kobe tanks there, World War One. We have Henry and Marge, of course, and Josiah and Edna, which are Marge's parents, and a couple of cows, some bombs, and the all-important rum. Well, that new engine looks rather nice with those wagons, even if I do say so myself. Of course you'd say that, Rob. You designed them, did you know? It's a fairly heavy train. Let's see what happens. Oh, smooth. It just walks smoothly away with it. And to think it's going to get smoother. Oh, I'm impressed. What do you think of the wagons? Sorry? All right. Bow of silence. It's going up a 2% grade slope on the deck now, so I've turned up the, uh, the throttle a little bit. No problem. One thing I've noticed is such incredible control. Such incredible control. So good. First time running. This is now the first complete time around the loop. Well, you know, the gang's all here, of course. I am so impressed already. So impressed. Straight from the box, all I've done is change some cosmetics. And there's Pryor in his favorite train watching spot. I put a longer chain there between the locomotive and the first pair, but I don't think I need it that long. I know what you mean, Marge. I know what you mean. At least we're inside here out of the rain. I just love that water sight glass in there. What do you think, Bear? Good, huh? Here's a shot from inside the good shed. All the dog toys everywhere. This makes a wonderful train. Great War War Department. This Roundhouse Birdie is more than I could expect. It's running better than I expected. I've had other new engines. It's uh, super impressing me. Let's not forget to wave to the guard. Lord Michael is as pleased as punch. And to think it's only going to get better from here as this engine beds in. I don't suppose any of my plastic Kobe models will mind the rain.
in our marriage? Wasn't that a joy? Just a joy? I know what you mean, Henry. It certainly was. Well, I've had a fantastic time out in the rain. I have to say, this is an awesome engine. I just really love it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and please share this video with others so we can encourage our hobby.